Well, uh, what, 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 were you, what were you about to say about illegal immigration before you were rudely interrupted? Well, bullet? I was going to say how good the numbers were. By the way, we're going back to Butler and we're going to Great. go back in October. We're all set up and we're the people are fantastic in Butler. It's a big, it's a great area. Great. These are incredible people. Uh, like the three that in the case of Corey killed and the other two, the, the families are, I got to know them a little bit and the families are great. But we're going back to Butler and even the people that put it up, they were unprepared and, and they did a great job. They got it up immediately, fortunately. But I looked to the right and, and, the, bullet, and the bullet came whizzing by hitting my ear. Uh, so it was amazing. But when you think of the odds of that and, yeah, you, yeah. you know, that... that normally you wouldn't use it. Normally I wouldn't have the thing. And then, you know, yeah. it would have been a very different story. It's, it's very much, I I say an act of God. It's a miracle that it happened. And uh, we had sure. more people than you'd have at, you know, some of these matches or, or these games. And uh, nobody left. You know, you had a, a small group behind us in the grandstand, and that was full. And you look at it as it was taking place. And... Normally they'd be running. They didn't leave. They saw that I was hurt. They saw a lot of blood, and they saw that I went down. And it's almost like they wanted to be with me. Well, out front, you had thousands, tens of thousands of people. You, as far as the eye could see, you had people in Butler. As far as the eye could see, and and uh, yeah. and a lot of press too. There was you know many cameras on watching this. It's what made makes it so different because normally things happen that aren't good but you never have a picture of it. Here we have all these cameras shooting it. Well, what was happening sort of overnight is they're, they're rewriting history and, um, and making uh, Kamala sound like a moderate when in fact she is far left, like far, far left. Worse than Bernie um, Sanders. She is considered yeah. more liberal by far than Bernie Sanders. She's a radical left lunatic. What I can tell you is this, it, we cannot have a Democrat. We cannot have her. She's incompetent. She's as bad as Biden it's, in a different... It's, it's, yeah. Look, she hasn't done an interview I mean, since this whole yeah. uh, scam started. Well, and and say what you want. This yeah. was a coup. This was a coup of a president of the United States. He didn't want to leave. And they said, we can do it the nice yeah. way or we can do it the no, hard way. I think it's a, a massive... I think, I think we're in massive trouble, uh, frankly, with, with the Kamala administration. And that's my honest opinion. Um, and uh, and I, I think uh, I think really it's essential that that uh, you win for the good of the country uh, for this election. And that, I mean that's understating my opinion. Like we're having a great conversation right now. Kamala wouldn't have this conversation. She can't because she's not no. smart. You know she's <laughs> not a smart person. By the way, she can't have this conversation. This is a, this is a really big point. You can actually have a conversation yeah. with you. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> and you can't have a conversation with Biden or Kamala. It's like not, uh, it's not possible. Yes.